Hi, this is Eli Kranzberg, and welcome to this series on Easy Keys 2. We're going to take a fresh look from the ground up, whether you're new to Easy Keys or whether you're upgrading from version 1, and look at this fantastic instrument that not only sounds great, but is a fantastic accompanist and great at generating parts for you, whether it's for song inspiration or to flesh out ideas you already have. It's really got a lot of tools to help you make music. Now, when you first open it up, you're going to find yourself with this keys tab in view. And this is kind of like the main page. And we have different tabs here. This is for the actual sound of the piano. And we're going to explore it a bit more in this video. The grooves tab allows us to search through all the database of MIDI files and use them and modify them and audition them and so on. And then we can edit them in the grid editor. And then we have bandmate for helping us generate parts based on ideas you already have, whether they're chords or drums or bass parts or MIDI or audio. They can all be used as the source material to generate piano parts. So back to the keys tab over here, we have these different tabs. And when you click on them, you'll see some of them have this little double edged window sign, meaning you can detach it. So when I click that, it'll detach and then you can freely place it anywhere you want. And then you can click that to reattach it or I'll detach it again. If you move it away, you'll see there's a reattach tab button. And that'll do the same thing. And we get the same thing for the grid editor and the bandmate tabs. Now, the main window can be resized. Let me just go back to keys here from the bottom right corner. And that's pretty typical for what we see in a lot of modern plugin interfaces. Now, in addition to these main tabs, we have the song track at the bottom. And this is where we can drag and drop the grooves and edit them and create our own song arrangements. And we also have menus here. Most of these pertain to the song track, although some don't, and we'll explore these throughout the video. Now, we see the main keyboard here, and we can always tap on the keys to trigger the notes if you don't have a MIDI keyboard attached. And where you trigger will determine the velocities. There we get harder velocities. And as we move up the key, they're quieter. And of course, when we play from a MIDI keyboard, it's fully velocity sensitive. And the velocity can be scaled. If we go under settings here, under general, we have MIDI input, and then you can engage that and then create different scaling that you might want to suit your touch or your keyboard. And there's even some presets here. You can save your own and reset which I'll do right now, and so on. Let's close that up. Now, we've got really good chord recognition. For example, I play a chord, it shows a simple triad, and it's pretty good at recognizing unusual chords. There's F with the sus2 in it, or F6, or maybe F7 sharp 9 sharp 5 or flat 9 sharp 5 So it's got pretty sophisticated chord recognition. Now we've got presets at the top. Here you'll choose which main library you're using. This is the default Easy Keys 2 Session Grand, but you may or may not own some of these other libraries. And then in here, we can get different presets. For example, this one, which has got some reverb. And you can go into the effects here and access some of the main parameters that shape the sound. For example, here we have the reverb. I can dial up more or longer time. And we have hammer noise, bring all these down so you can really hear it. And that's the noise of the hammers on the piano. Subtle, but realistic. And then sustain pedal noise. So you can have as much or as little of that as you want. And then you close the effects here. Now the different presets have different effects assigned to them. And these are kind of like macro controls for the predominantly important effects for this patch. So here we have filter and delay and reverb so we can adjust the parameters to shape the sound. But there are underlying sounds underneath as well, like compression that are built into the sound. And these are just the main effects. Now, we also have a category of patches under here called raw sounds. And this gives us access to the unprocessed sound. And we can use the multiple output version of Easy Keys 2 to get access to the individual mic sets. For example, 
It's very dry, but I have a multi-output version here. So if I call up the additional outputs, go to one of the other ones, we'll go to maybe over here, here, one set of mics, another set of mics, ambience, and third set. So you can mix and match and use your own effects in your DAW. And then finally, we have some tuning parameters here where we can adjust by octave, semitone, or sense. Great for transposing. If you have parts in a different key and you want to quickly transpose, you can use these here. We'll continue with more in the next video.